Hey, 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 magnificent people. This is your host, Cloris Kylie, and welcome to a new season of Magnificent Time. This is actually um, awesome, and I'm really excited about it because now we're going to have our guests on video, not just audio, but video as well. You'll be able to access the interviews on my site, also as always on iTunes. So it's a very exciting um, stage for the show, or, or yeah, a, a phase for the show. And um, our first guest today is filled with value. And uh, she is Kelly Jo Murphy, and she's here to share her seven-step discovery session blueprint to sign up more clients during discovery sessions. And I'm so excited about this because this is a, an issue that most coaches and experts, consultants face. You know, what, how to do a discovery session so it's actually successful, it leads to sales, it leads to new clients. And you might have felt that when you have those sessions that, well, first of all, people just want a free session and then they, they just leave, they never hire you. Or maybe they always need to think about it, right? And you never hear from them again. Maybe you feel like kind of weird about asking for a sale and you never do it or you do it in such an awkward way that, that the person is put off and they don't really want to buy from you. So you might be facing all of these challenges and Kelly Jo has found a way to overcome all those challenges. And that's why she has a 90% closing rate when she speaks to a potential client. So I think that's amazing. So that's why I was so excited to have her, have her here today. And uh, she's currently uh, launching her program to actually teach you how to do that as well. So she has some uh, free blueprint for you. So just stay tuned. She's going to share all of that. And of course, there's a link to that um, as, as part of the description of the show on my site. So let me tell you a little bit more about her and more formally. Uh, with 16 years of spiritual creativity and marketing coaching, as well as 24 years entrepreneurial experience, Kelly Jo Murphy has a knack for breaking down complex sales and marketing concepts into step-by-step -step practical tips that you can start benefiting from today. And she inspires, encourages, and strategizes with passionate entrepreneurs to create massive and meaningful sales in their business. The foundation of her soul to sales process, I love that name, is the connection with and honoring both yourself and your ideal clients to their transformation. And uh, she empowers her clients to captivate, connect, and convert more of those soul aligned clients and I'm, I'm just so happy to have you here today kelly joe welcome thank you so much cloris oh i just absolutely love how you just described all of that even though yes of course it's some of the bio that i shared with you but the way that you interpret it and shared it with everyone i really appreciate it because <laughs> Even just hearing it myself, I'm like, oh, I, I would like to work with that person. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I, I personally met, met Kelly Jo uh, through a joint venture insider circle, and she's an integral part of, of that program. Then I met her in person, uh, and I, I could feel her energy uh, during that event that we attended. She, she was leading part of it, and it was just amazing just to see how much energy Kelly Jo has. And I think it's, you know, because of your passion for what you do, and, you know, I think that's one of the main things to convey with, during your sales conversations as well. Um, so before we get started into the whole, you know, sales and sales conversions, just tell us about your journey a little bit, Kelly Jo. How did you get to where you are right now? What, what inspired you to start your own business? Yeah. So I've actually always wanted to have my own business. So like I said, I've been an entrepreneur 24, 25 years. Being my own boss and having that kind of freedom to really do what I wanted to do whenever I wanted to, to do my passion uh, has always been there. Now, part of what happened though is over those years, I didn't like the whole sales aspect of things, you know, reaching out to people to actually get them to sign up. It, it's, you know, it just kind of got the butterflies going right in my stomach. And so as much as I wanted to be an entrepreneur and did for, you know, a long time and, you know, did the process and learned and the sales part just was hard. And yes, I got some sales here and there, but nothing like I really wanted to. And over several years of this happening, I'm like, okay, I'm determined. I know this is the path. I know this is what I want to do. I know that I want to help people. This is really what I want to do. How in the world 
am I going to break through this whole sales thing? Because I really hated it. And in a certain level, when you hate something, it, it's, it's not good, right? I mean, you hate something, what it just does is it actually brings more ickiness around it. And so what happened was I was actually talking with one of my own coaches and he said, well, you're a really good coach, Kelly Joe, right? And I said, yeah, I'm, I know I'm a really good coach. So he said to me, then why don't you just coach them to the decision to buy? Hmm. And it was like, bells went off and and what it did is it took this pressure off of me into thinking that I had to convince somebody of something that they didn't want and when I realized was they actually wanted to work with me they just didn't know how to decide to work with me all I needed to do was facilitate the process for them to be able to say yes to themselves because really that's what our clients are doing when they say yes to signing up with you. They aren't really saying yes to you. They're saying yes to themselves so they can solve a problem or have a transformation that you help them with. So once I turned that all around, I then just fell in love with sales. I just started researching and studying and trying different kinds of sales processes and uh, you know, all the different kinds of things. And I absolutely just started falling in love with all aspects of it. Then when you fall in love with something, then it's going to love you back, right? So that's really what happened. And I can't wait to share um, the steps in my discovery session template because there's one in particular that I really am excited. I was thinking about this before our interview today of what I really wanted to share of the most powerful step in this process that actually allows you to be the facilitator of them saying yes to themselves. And when you do that step this way, it's completely different than what most people out there are teaching about how to do discovery sessions. I'm going to show you how that one shift is going to make a world of a difference. And that's the big reason that I, that I really have that 90% conversion rate. I see. I love that. I love that. And, you know, the, the, that beginning when you had that shift in your mind, it was just a perception within yourself of mm-hmm. what the sales process was about. It wasn't about forcing somebody to do something, but it was about kind of inviting them and facilitating that, yes. And uh, I see how that changed your own demeanor, your own words, your own, and that, that's when results started to come in. I love that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then that you have made that part of your blueprint, right? And that's one of the steps that you need to follow is something like more introspective uh, part of it, would you say? There is, there is a piece that, that does have a slight introspection part of it because mm-hmm. if we aren't honoring ourselves in the process, not just our ideal, you know, our potential client that we're listening to, we're, we're not doing what I call soul to soul which is what my soul to soul sales is all about. Soul to soul is about honoring both yourself and your potential client in the process. And we have to have a moment where we actually tune in and listen to ourselves. If what um, is happening in this conversation is not just right for them, but also right for us. Because how many times when we're on a discovery session call and we're like feeling like, Oh my gosh, I need another client. I need another client. I hope they sign up. I hope, right? Even before you get on the phone with them, you might be feeling that kind of feeling. That isn't actually honoring either them or yourself in this process because this person may not be a really good fit for you and you might actually be draining tons of energy and expending if you actually have them sign up with you, right? So there's a piece in the template in the steps that where you actually stop and you just tune in for one second with yourself to really see if working with them is the right next step for you to make an offer to them. So we'll get into that too when we talk about the steps. I love that. And it's so important because it's true. Let's say that I say yes to somebody who's not an ideal client for me. Then of course I have to say no to someone else who is my ideal client. And uh, if I have too many of those not, not ideal clients, then that's how businesses, you know, go down the drain. It's about, you know, focusing and knowing exactly what you want. I love that, Kelly Jo. It's, it's definitely important. So, so would you say, if you had to say, okay, how, how does the process start? Because it's all part of a, a, a system that you have created, your blueprint. Then what would be the first step 
that we have to do to have a successful sales conversation that honors you and that honors your potential client. Yeah, absolutely. So in the template, I actually speak into the things that happen on the call itself. But in my program, I'll give you a couple of the little hints that we go even deeper into the program are all of the things that lead up to the call itself. Because we want to have potential clients on the call who truly are already ready to want to work with you, who are already ready and wanting to know more of how to work with you, who are already been self-selecting themselves as being your ideal clients. So there's a lot of different things that you can do ahead of the call that can ensure those kinds of things because that then every single call that you get on, you know that you have potential clients who truly are your soul line clients mm -hmm. already on the phone. So it makes the conversation just so much easier in that regard, right? So the first thing that you do when you get on the phone, you know, um, with your potential client, it's just create some rapport. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this is just an easy thing, just like, you know, just chit chatting, even just for a minute, because relax and just have and enjoy the conversation that you're about to have with this person. Get to know them a little bit. You know, you're both human. You're not here like to, you know, like I said, you're not here to convince them of anything. Just mm -hmm. find out who they are, right? And let them know a little bit about you. So, you know, I would just naturally say, you know, if I noticed that they were, you know, from somewhere maybe that um, I, I have relatives, I would just mention that kind of a thing, right? You bring up things that you can see that you might have in common or, um, you know, if you hear they have an accent, oh, where is that accent from? Or, you know, just get, just something that can makes that connection. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah, of course it does. And, you know, I was just thinking one of the, the easiest sales conversations that I had was one that I didn't think was a sales conversation because I was um, on the phone with uh, – with a, a friend that we had gone to, to business school together and we were just catching up. So let's just catch up and, and she had her coaching business. I told her what I was doing and then all of a sudden she says, you know, I think you can help me. So I guess so, yeah, let's start working together. So that's because we were just so relaxed during that right. conversation. Love that. No, that's perfect. And, and like I said, you want to do a few things ahead of the call mm -hmm. so that then when you're on the call, that's exactly what it feels like. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Now, um, what I'm thinking too, like a lot of people, a lot of coaches, consultants, they go into a uh, the, the sessions and, and they make mistakes that some of them are, are not huge mistakes and you know that you can overcome those but would you say there's like a huge a big mistake that really kind of uh, kills all the possibility of, of this person working with you that you have seen or experienced with your clients I really think that it has to do with how you set up the call before the call mm -hmm. I think that really is the key because when you have a discovery session, it's not a free coaching call. Right. And if you call it a free consultation or you immediately are insinuating that it's, they're going to get free advice on this call. Mm -hmm. And that is not what a discovery session is meant to be. You truly are meant to discover and them to discover if working with you is the right next step for them. If you set it up in a way that when you make the offer of these discovery sessions, that that's what the call is actually going to be about. You don't have to worry about giving free advice. And the steps that I tell you in my template um, of what to do and what to say it, during the call completely leads the call where there isn't that room for having to give free advice because that isn't what the call is for. The call is just to see if working together is the right next step. And then the free advice comes once they say yes, then you go into the actual, you know, coaching itself. From there. But you know, that, that is a, a big change from what many coaches and consultants out there do uh -huh. because, you know, they're, they're out there, as you said, just giving free advice. People have an expectation of, oh, this is a free coaching session. Right. They get what they want, and then when you offer them your programs, they might even they feel offended, right? Yeah, because they just thought they were getting free coaching, mm -hmm. and then, they're, then they think, well, this was just supposed to be free coaching. Why are you, like, trying to sell me now? Right. You know, 
But if you set it up in a way where, like I said, you're letting people know ahead of time that that's what this call is actually all about, you will only get the ones on the phone who understand this is what the call is all about. You're not going to get those tire kickers and the ones who want free coaching. They won't sign up for it because of the way you position the call in the first place. Yeah. Because it allows you to uh, maximize the use of your time because your time is precious. Right. You're going to be speaking all day with people who are not your ideal clients or not really interested. Then you know what happens, right? There's no time to grow your business. So exactly. yeah, yeah. I, I love that. So uh, you said that you have to position the discovery call, discovery call as that, as a way to figure out, discover whether you are a good fit for each other. Right. And uh, how would you, if you had, I know you probably share a lot about this during, in your course and even the blueprint, but if you had to say just one thing now that somebody who in this position can do to create that perception uh, of the discovery session before they get on the phone, what would that be? So what it would be is you need to already know your ideal clients and what their main problem is that they want solved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever the main problem is that they want solved, that's how you position what this call is. Let's find out about this problem that you want solved and how, how, not saying that you're going to show them how to actually solve this problem, but how I can help you next to solve that problem. And when you word it that way, it's showing that on the call, you're gonna talk about the problem and you're gonna talk about possible solutions in the way that you can help them. Not talking about the exact things you're gonna coach them on later, right. Right? because you can't actually help them in a truly solve this problem in a half hour call, <laughs> <laughs> right? <true>. And, <laughs> um, now, a lot of people want a quick fix, but if you position it this way, the ones who truly respect themselves and respect you and understanding that there is more and a deeper thing that actually needs to happen when you work with someone to solve a problem, those are the ones that then will sign up. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. And remember those words and how I can help you next. I will yeah. never forget that. How I can help you next and that, with that frame of mind, then you can position the call the right way. I love that. So um, I would say, like, if you had to, to say a, an ideal length of time for a discovery session, would that depend on, you know, what you help people do? Or have you found that there's an ideal length of time? Uh, what happens if you go over time? Do you give up? Like, uh, any advice on that? <laughs> Yes. So I would schedule around a half hour because okay. you don't want it to go actually much longer. Mm. But you want enough time in there to truly dig deep enough on what is actually the problem going on with them. Um, and enough time where you can talk with them about what you have to offer next to actually help them with that problem. Right. Schedule for yourself time after that half hour just in case you don't want to like schedule the next call right at the next half hour mm -hmm. you know leave a buffer in your scheduler um just in case people have questions right, right. and to me that's what objections actually are objections are really just questions that people need answered to help them to make that decision for themselves mm -hmm. that's it so if you see objections as questions, you can just answer them. They don't have to be this thing that actually like rubs the whole thing wrong and they actually don't want it. The thing about questions, and this is the thing where I said I started falling in love with all of the aspects. I absolutely love when people have questions. Yeah. And the reason is, is because that means they do want to know more. Mm. They want to know more. They they want what it is that you have to offer to help them with their problem. So other, if they didn't want it, they wouldn't ask any more questions. They wouldn't even bring up objections. Objections even speak into what it is that they're actually longing for you to help them with. That is true. That is true because I was thinking when you ask people, do you have any questions? And they go, nope. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's because they're just ready to go please get me out of here <laughs> yeah they don't actually want it but if they 
do you have questions? Or if they actually say like, well, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work with the time, da, da, da. That's actually just a question. Look at it as a question. And you answer it with showing them how they can fit it into their time. Work with them on, that's the coaching part. Work with them on figuring out how they can make this work because they do want the solution that you're offering. So work with them on that part, right? And we know money is one of the hugest ones of the objections, right? Again, see it as a question in helping them to see and find a solution. So if they truly are wanting this and you are really tuning in, right? And you can feel that they want it. You know they are, yes, the uh, ideal client for you. That's the part where you actually coach them. You don't coach them on the problem, right? That we that they're that you actually help them solve with your offer. Hmm. You coach them on how to figure out the money. So if they're saying that they just can't afford it right now, put the coach's hat on at that moment. That's when you start coaching them. Okay, so we know that you have this problem. We know that my solution, you are just wanting it, right? So the only thing that's standing in the way at this moment is is that you don't think that you have enough money to be able to invest in this for yourself, right? So let's look at how can you, how can you, and begin working with that person and coming up with different ideas and different ways to actually make it work. Be flexible just enough in that moment when you're talking to a potential client that if you really know this is someone you really want to work with and you know they are really just, yes, I know this is really going to help me, right? work with them, have just enough of that flexibility of figuring out a solution that you both can live with in the way that they make their payments, in the way that they figure out how to find the money. Hmm. And when you work with them on that, that's the part where you are partnering with them to help them to be able to have the solution that you offer. You know, that is really powerful because, as you said, it's one of the biggest and most important objections that people have to work with you. And uh, I see so many coaches and consultants just going for the, you know, the first thing that they can think of, which is to cut the rates. And, uh, you know, and that doesn't work, right, Kelly Jo? No. The reason that it doesn't work is because you have just now disrespected yourself. Mm-hmm. If you disrespect yourself what you're doing is you're mirroring back to your potential client that there's a possibility that you might disrespect them in this process. And I know that sounds almost harsh in a way, but we energetically, we really, that's what we're conveying to our potential clients. Stand in your own power of what it is that the solution that you offer them, it truly is worth the price of whatever it is that you put the price on it. And you convey that to this potential client, they are going to honor you for honoring yourself. They really Love will. That. Yeah. So that's another one. Honor, they will honor you for honoring yourself. Love mm-hmm. that. All those quotes when I enter my, <laughs> in my website for everybody to tweet and share because, you know, you have so much to share, Kelly Joe, and uh, I feel like we could be talking about this for hours and there's so much more to say, but, you know, unfortunately we're, getting close to the end of the show. So I want to, uh, before we share how to reach, to, uh, get to the blueprint, how to, da- how to download it, a little bit more about your program that you have coming up. There's one question I always ask all my guests, and that is to share one thing that most people don't know about you. People who are your friends, of course, maybe know it, but most people who are out there don't really know about you. What would that be? Well, so this is the fun answer that I like to give, you know, when people ask that kind of a question. Now, this was many, many years ago. And, you know, and it's it's kind of fun to say that um, getting older, (laughs) and it was really many years ago, but uh, right out of high school, I went into the military. And I was a security police in the Air Force. And a lot of people who know me now, are kind of surprised, you know, like you, you are in the military, you know, so it's just one little fun thing that um, I absolutely, you know, I'm honored that I was able to serve that way. And, um, you know, and it really actually shaped 
a lot of my own values and integrity, you know, um, honor, you know, coming back to the honoring part, yeah. um, it, it shaped so much at such a young age for me to truly be able to stand in that for the rest of my life. So I'm actually very grateful for, for being able to be able to do that. Oh, definitely. You, you were meant to be there. And I'm, I'm sure you, uh, you're you delivering so much value today as a result of that past experience. I love that. So, uh, well, once again, uh, a pleasure to have you here today. I want to, you please share, um, I want you to please share the blueprint. So what is in the blueprint and then how that ties in with your whole program that you have coming up to teach people how to do just that, you know, how to, how to sign up uh, the clients with ease, integrity, you know, everything they want to grow their business. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it's called the Powerful Seven Step Discovery Session Template. And like I said, I covered a few of the different steps that are in it. Um, creating rapport is one. Speaking into what their, uh, their actual problem is that they want solved. Reflecting that back to them so that they really feel heard and understood about what it is that they're wanting solved. And deciding in that moment, that's the moment that you then go within, is this person a really a good fit? Not just for me, but can you feel that they also are really wanting what you know you're about to offer them? You know, tune into that. Um, and at that point, if it's a no, then let them know. Honor them right then and there, you know? I'm, I'm really noticing that what you really need is this, and that isn't how I work with clients. You know, you can also refer them to someone else. But if you honor them in that process, they're going to they're gonna just love you for that. And I have in numerous times had people refer other people back to me just because of that. Hmm. Yeah. So if it's a yes, then you're going to let them know what your offer is. And the, what I tell you in the template is, and I go more, even more into it, like I said, in the program, as well as a video that you get, you know, you'll be able to see once you download the template. Um, two, come up with two things that you're going to, to let them know of how you can work with them. Because if you only have one, then that's it. They either want that or they don't. But if you come up with two, you have the flexibility in offering them two things that can allow them to be empowered to make their own choice. Right. Right? Answer their questions and then truly engage them to the offer, which means make sure that you say at the end, because I've seen so many people do this, <laughs> and they'll say, okay, well, I'll think about it. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. You've gone through this whole process, but you didn't actually step into saying, hey, I am here for you, for you to say yes, let's go. Let's take the next step. Let's get your credit card. Let's get you signed up so we can get started. Is next Wednesday a good day for us to get going? You know, so you actually have, you actually have to step into standing for them by, by engaging them to the offer at the end. So that's what the whole template goes into. The program itself, everything that happens before <laughs> to actually attract the people into these conversations, and then how you use these conversations as, they, as a stepping stone, a foundation for the steps of building your dream business all along the way. Because a one-on-one -on -one sales conversation needs, you need to really love and master it in order for you to love and master higher levels of ways that you do sales strategies. Because if you don't master that one-on-one -on -one and really get to know who your ideal clients really are and what kind of problems they're wanting, what kind of challenges, how you truly work with them, making an offer where it's one-to-many or even at a passive level, right, automated, you're not really going to have the power behind it. And a lot of people aren't sure or don't understand why they try these higher level things and they don't work. It's because they haven't actually figured out those foundational pieces of working with their clients. So my whole program just covers everything up until, you know, attracting them into these sales conversations, having the sales conversations and how that is the foundation for building your dream business and your passion empire. 
Well, that is perfect because it's true. All those skills are the skills you need to go, as you said, from one to many, just to really scale your business and make it, you know, have a bigger impact that you want. So that, that sounds like a perfect, sounds like the perfect solution, Kelly Jo. So that is wonderful. And, and everybody, I'll put the link to that blueprint so you can download it right away. You know, I would do it right now just because Kelly Jo is having this launch. And then after that, She's going to have to close the doors to her program. Um, so you got to grab that blueprint right away. And if you're listening to this later on and you don't get the chance to download the blueprint, so definitely I'll, I'll include the link to Kelly Jo's site so you can connect with her and then be first in line when she opens the doors again. So uh, Kelly Jo, thank you once again. It's such a pleasure to have you on the show. And, uh, you know, uh, you. best of luck. I know you don't need it, but, you know, I'm sure it'll be an awesome launch. Thank you so much, Gloris. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care, everyone.